But before we begin, I want to remind you to like, subscribe, and hit the bell notification so you can be made aware every time we put out a new video. And remember to check us out on Instagram, and now you can also find us on Facebook for exclusive content. Let's get to it. So we are at Cowfish, where we are. Well, I say hi, Carla. Hello. Hi, Mia. Mia's gonna build a fish. If you've never been here, here's a cool thing that you can do. You can come up here, you it's touch screen like this, you hit the screen, and it gives you the option to build a fish, and so then you'll see Mia is building this fish now. So you get to pick which one you want. And so now I think you drag it on now. There it is, you had it. Now your fish has glasses. All right, into the elevator where we will dine. Where? Two. So here we are. Cowfish. It's been an easy day, huh? A simple day. We spent the day at Islands of Adventure um, and it's been pretty slow. It's been very, very slow. Very, very like, it's like nobody here. of, you know, dealing with, looks like, COVID menu concept here. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know that that's ever going away, but I'll be honest with you, I like it. It's kind of convenient. You don't have to deal with waiting for a, for a, a menu. Yeah, but people like mom. I mean, mom doesn't bring her phone much anymore, so. Yeah, so I don't have my phone. It's a little annoying, and I have to borrow your phone. So there's the downside. See, I actually like it. You don't. So, you know, what do you guys think? You can, feel free to put in the comments. Do you like this concept or not? Mia, what did you get? I got the cowfish has officially left the building. You've had that before? I have had that before. It's got like everything on it. It's got peanut butter and, and bacon, banana. And banana. Banana. Like, that's crazy. And, and But you like it. It's one of your favorite burgers. I too. do like it. And Carla, you got? I got the black and green. And you've also gotten that before? Yes. Yes. And it's it was good. It was really good. But it's been a while? It's been a long time because I'd like to kind of, you know, savor that. You know, just save it for something that I don't get very and so I can really enjoy it. Um, but yeah. Yeah, okay. We also ordered some fried pickles yes. for dessert or for an appetizer, which we've had before. Yes. And they're always good. They're good. So we're, they're you good. know, we just got through ordering. We'll show you when the food comes in and let you know what we think. So we got, so we have our fried pickles and uh, that didn't take long at all. I mean, the, those got here like nothing. You're, the faces you're seeing is because we just filmed the whole segment without having the record button pushed. <laughs> I didn't say who did it. Yeah, I don't think you have to. But so we're going to enjoy our fried pickles. And Mia, go ahead and grab one. See, what, let's let everybody see you shove a pickle in your mouth. See what you think. It might be hot. Be careful. All right, Carla, go for it. You can go. Well, Mia said they're hot. So yeah, they are hot. And you get, you get two sauces. It looks like you get a ranch. And I think this is... I think it's called cowfish sauce, is what it's actually called. We've had these before many times. It's very, very good. They are hot. They're very good. Those are so good. You like them? Oh, yeah. yeah. Carla? I, mean, I love pickles. Yeah. It's a good quality pickle. Um, yeah, it's pretty good. I think it's good. Okay. All right. Well, we're going to eat these and enjoy them. And then uh, at some point, We'll get our food and you'll, uh, we'll tell you what we thought about it. Carla's got the black and brie. Look at that. This is a blackberry. It's and it's brie sweet. cheese. It's cooked perfectly. Look at that. Yep. Blackberries, brie. There's a um, pear in there. Yeah. And it just looks like a little bit of heaven on earth. Yeah, so that's working. Yeah. All right, and Mia got the cowfish has officially left the building. Peanut butter, I think Gouda. No cheese. No, no cheese. Banana, bacon, 
and she cooked medium rare, just like she asked, or medium. So go for it. Now you've had this before. Yeah. Right. Yeah, that's working for you too. All right, so that's two wins right there, okay. I got the Longhorn, which is kind of a barbecue burger with jalapeno bacon and onion strings and cheddar as I it. Yeah, oh my gosh. How are you even gonna do that? That looks beautiful. And a brioche bun. That's pretty good. Yeah? Yeah, I mean, yeah. Yes. I was hoping the bacon would have a little more bite with right. the jalapeno, and it doesn't. It's no. just kind of like... It's just kind of there. It's like an afterthought. Yeah, it's like bacon with just a little tiny zing, and you can't really tell if it's the barbecue sauce or bacon. Right. But the flavor is very good. Yeah, I get that again. So would you say redemption? I was, for me, it was after the last one. You know, but yeah, this is two times in a row where they've hit. Excellent. And the surface was good. We didn't wait terribly long. Not at all. And so, yeah, this has been, this has been good as far as I'm concerned. Very good. finished dinner at Cowfish and you guys will recall if you've been subscribers to the show for a long time that you know for a while there we wouldn't come back here because it was just so bad we had three a couple times two or three times when it just really wasn't good the food wasn't good uh, the service was poor the service is always poor but um, but the food was usually good and but we didn't during COVID in particular we, we thought it was bad well we came Carla you and I came about a month ago and it was pretty good and we said we'd give it another shot see what happened and and I thought we had a good experience today. So we'll tell, Carlos, what, tell everybody, what did you have? What did you think about it? I had the black and gray burger, and it was ridiculous. It was so, so good. I think I initially took a bite out of it and was like, this is the best burger I have had. But then I think after eating it a little bit more, I mean, it was fantastic. Um, the flavor was just really, really good. It wasn't like very strong and pronounced it's a very subtle like the, the yeah. brie is so nice and subtle um the blackberries were delicious what all is and on that that's it there's brie so like melted brie blackberries pears on the bottom and then um like a drizzle of honey so the contrast between the sweet and the savory is just beautiful oh so it all in all is really good on a scale of one to ten what would you say I give that burger a solid eight. Solid eight. Okay. All right. So Mia, you had kind of your go-to. Yeah. I mean, every time I've come here, except for maybe one, I've had um, the cowfish has officially left the building. That has peanut butter, banana, and bacon on it. And at first, I mean, honestly, it sounded a little terrifying, but I ended up trying it, and it was the best thing that I had ever had. Um, Today I would probably give it like an eight and a half, nine out of ten. It was so good. Yeah, and and you both said, and I, I you both said that you thought the fries were better than usual were today. Yeah, they were better than usual. They really were seasoned really well. Oh yeah, like those garlic crackers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And we didn't get the garlic truffle fries. They have those. That they have, no, but no, these were just the regular fries. They were yeah. good. Now we also got. We started with this the the uh, the fried pickle appetizer. What do you think of that? And the sauces that came with it. I thought they were good. Um, the, I, I'm not a fan of ranch seasoning or ranch dressing, so I did not particularly care for that ranch. Um, but the other dipping sauce was good. Okay, and the other one has a little spice to it. It's like a, it's almost like a. Yeah. I mean, it's not like too hot, but it, no, it is good for sure. Mia, what do you think? You're a pickle person. You like pickles. I so. love pickles. I thought that these were really good. 
Um, I mean, I don't know. I like pickles. I've never been the biggest fan of fried pickles, but they did these very well. Yeah. I also don't like ranch, so I primarily use the other sauce. I don't know exactly what's in it. It is a little, like, tangy. It's, I think it's cowfish sauce is what they call it. Okay. Well, whatever it was, it was honestly very good. Okay. Yeah. Very good. Yeah. All right. Here, I'll, I'll switch spots with me, Mia, and you can do the same thing. Hey, bestie. He didn't pause it. I wonder why he didn't pause it. Anyway, sorry. What was that? <laughs> My bad. <clears throat> okay. What'd you get? What'd you get? <laughs> Hi. Um, I got the, um, the, the Texas Longhorn. Is that the call that Yeah. Yeah. Um, and it was amazingly good. It's, uh, it's a tangy barbecue sauce, jalapeno bacon, uh, uh, you know, a, a 100% beef burger uh, with um, fried onion straws on a brioche bun. I, the only thing I didn't really love was the bun. I, and really? I don't think their buns are great. It's like they don't, They're okay. grill, they don't grill them. It's no. just like they take a bun and cut it and put it on there. And I wish they would butter and grill the bun. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. I think they would really add to the burger. Um, but they didn't do that here. And so that was my only complaint. It wasn't a complaint. I, I could only eat half of it. In fact, we all, no, me and me, a little more, but the rest of you and I only eat half of our burgers. And, um, and so we're taking those home. The, the jalapeno bacon, I didn't really notice that being, there was, I, I could hardly tell that they had done anything to the bacon. Yeah, I agree. I mean, I tried it earlier too, and it was, it was just okay. It wasn't really anything special. It tasted like regular bacon. Yeah. Maybe, yeah. honestly, a little worse than regular bacon. But... No, I didn't think that. I thought it tasted like, just, it just like bacon. It was boring. Um, it, it, yeah, it, it, but, but the burger altogether was good. It was a good burger. I would have given that a, probably a six and a half, seven out of ten. I'd get it again. Yeah. And be happy as to be. The flavor is good. The barbecue sauce is good. Uh, the, the star to me was the pickles. I thought the pickles were great. And, and then Mia's burger. I had a bite of the, the cowfish has officially left the building burger. And that, that warm peanut butter blending with the banana. It was so good. Oh, yeah. I mean, it was amazing. I tried some of Carlos as well, and that was also really, really good. I, I mean, all in all, I thought we talked about redemption, right? Because it's like for two or three times, Cowfish has been disappointing to us. Yeah. And this is two, two, two times in a row where it's not been disappointing really good. Oh, yeah. So I uh, highly recommend coming to Cowfish. I, we had no problems. We got it. It's slow. It was a, a slow day in the park. We, we went on about 3.30. We got a reservation for 4.45. Yeah. We got right in, we walked right in, yeah. there was nobody here. The service was good, and it's never good. Yeah, our waiter was so good. Uh, yeah, I can't say Very it. fast, Carrie. yeah. Carrie was great. Uh, oh, yeah. Great waiter, yeah. uh, asked for Carrie, great job. But we got, we sat right away, our pickles took no time. Oh, yeah. And the food didn't take long, and it always does. And so, yeah, Cowfish has done something right post-COVID. Yeah, about it. agreed. And I mean, I think that another thing that impacts it is that we're here at a slow time, too. We're typically right. here in, like, September, so. Well, yeah, but the rule of thumb is that you get the worst service in restaurants when it's slow. Really? Yeah, that's the rule of thumb. Dang, and okay. That, Don't listen to me. And it did start to pick up as we as, as we sat there. More and more people came in. Yeah. Yeah. But it was still pretty, still pretty slow. And so, yeah, we highly recommend uh, Cowfish for you. So, guys, listen, that is your video for the day. I want to thank you for Thank you for doing this. Mia, thank you for doing this. Yeah. We'll do it again. You know, we put the polls out there to see where you'd like us to go. I know that most people said uh, Antojitos. We just weren't feeling that today. We just thought Cowfish was a better way to go. And so that's what we went. Yeah. We'll come back and do Antojitos. We've been there many times. Yeah. Yeah. We'll get the table side block. Um, and, and that's amazing. Every that's time. Really good. And we'll give you that as well. Um, but as always, guys, go out and bless somebody else today. Do something amazing for somebody else. Don't expect anything in return. Watch what happens in your life. We'll see you. Mm -hmm.